Now that we've done our first round import, it's going to take you over to the disputes tab. And this is really where all the items that you had flagged uh, as wanting to dispute are going to appear. Now it's also going to show at the very bottom, you know, any of the positive items that you decided to still include. Um, you, again, you have the option of using that skip button if you don't want to bring over any positive items. Uh, but in this example, we just left three of them on there so you can at least see them. Uh, so it's going to start at the top with accounts, then collections, inquiries, and so forth. And then basically while they're here, you have the opportunity to fine tune any of these. Okay. Um, maybe during, um, the import process, you didn't do all the reasons or you didn't do all the instructions for the sake of speed, you can at least have that opportunity. Now, um, you'll be able to see more information if you click this little down button right here. So this will show pretty much everything that you saw on the report itself, including any dispute reason or instruction that you would assign to it. If there wasn't any there, you could actually just hit edit and it will bring up this page here and you'll have the opportunity to, to add a dispute reason and instruction or elaborate on the instruction right here. And uh, again, if you need to add a new dispute reason, you can do that by hitting the little plus button right here. You can just add it right there. Same thing for the instruction. Uh, the creditor will of course already be in there. Um, I'm gonna show you as well how to manually add some disputes, which uh, is kind of where this would come into play. But for the purposes of what we're talking about now, you know, um, this is just where you can double check all the information, make any adjustments you need to. Um, if it was brought over accidentally as a negative item, but maybe it's positive, you could always change the status or just uh, delete the dispute entirely. Um, so once you're done with that, you can go back to your list here. So once all of this is looking pretty good, um, you'll be able to move on to letters. But one thing I do wanna show you real quick is if for some reason you didn't have access to credit monitoring. Maybe you just wanted to do it old school where you built all the negative items that you want to dispute manually, or there was one missing from there that you knew about or whatever the case may be. It's kind of a backup uh, tool as well. So there's two buttons here. We've got a quick add and an add dispute item. They're basically the exact same thing. One is just a shorter version of the same form. So if you're in a, in a hurry, you could just do quick add and just build out the account. You know, what is it? It's a uh, public record or a collection. Uh, who is it from? You could enter the creditor or furnisher. If it's not in that list, you just hit the little plus sign. You'll be able to add the creditor along with the address. Um, and any ones that you add in your account, over time, it's just going to keep saving them. So next time there is one that gets imported that matches that, it'll automatically have the address. And then do your little dispute reason, dispute instruction, whatever it might be. And then down here, you just got some of the more basic fields for each of the bureaus. Now you have a couple of entry modes. So right now it's locked into same for all bureaus. So if you start typing something, it'll just replicate it. Uh, but you could do it differently for each one, in which case you can put in different information. And uh, if you only want to do it for say Equifax, you could just hide these two and then it would only create one for Equifax and just save and close when you're done or just save and add another if you're quickly moving through it. Now, if you wanted to do the full one, it looks like this. So essentially all the stuff is the same at the top that we just looked at, um, but you see there's some more fields available, you know, high balance term, past due, status, all that kind of stuff. So you can really build the full thing out. And once you're done with that, just save it. So once we have um, all of our disputes ready, uh, we're pretty much ready to start uh, working on letters.